So in today's video, we're going to be talking about HDMI capture devices. What can you use them for and what's the quality like of what they actually record? And today's video is sponsored by Excel Cloud, who offer online backups and cloud storage. Use the code GADGETJOHN at checkout to get a lovely little bit of a discount. So the ability to record HDMI signals, which is both video and audio, um, is really good. Now you might wonder, well, what am I going to do with that? Well, you could record yourself playing Call of Duty or something like that. Um, you could record what you do from your computer or laptop if it's got HDMI out. Um, you can also record things like um, you know, the back of your camera if you want to do some instruction videos and you want to capture all the menus and settings. You know, it's pretty much uh, endless really if it outputs HDMI, you basically intercept it. Um, in with the box you get a nice UK or you know wherever you are in the world when you order it, a power brick. Um, and then you get two HDMI cables. So it allows you to intercept a device. Um, so for example if you were to intercept your set top box and you know record something of your own making of course. I don't condone people um, downloading content or ripping off movies or anything like that in this video. It's not what it's about. Um, if you want to record your own content, obviously you're free to do so, no matter what it's displayed on. Um, in my tests, I went to my own YouTube channel um, to actually test this out, and I tried two boxes to try this out. One was an Apple TV box, and one was a Sky, um, Sky Q box. The Sky Q box instantly recognized that this was um, a device that allowed it to record um, you know the the video and audio signals and refused to work until I disconnected it. Uh, the Apple set top box that worked fine and I was able to record all the menus in the set top box and my content off YouTube as well. So um, that pretty much worked fine. I was able to record off my laptop. Everything I did came out fine as well. It's got two quality settings on there. On the side there's a little button for 720 or 1080 full HD. Um, and in both modes, you know, you get a really crisp, nice signal. So you just plug in your input from HDMI, your output to the monitor, so you can actually still carry on seeing what you're recording. There's where you plug the power. Uh, there's the power switch. You can also, if you wanted to, say you are doing some sort of like gaming and you want to put a narration over the top, plug your headset into the side. There's a mic port. And on the other side is where you basically... Uh, just plug your memory card in, put it in the side, that works fine. Um, and then when you're ready to record, you just press the record button and you get some lights on the front there. Uh, the lights on the front show that it's recording and there's a light there that shows blue or white depending on whether you're in um, HD, 1080 HD or 720. Um, and then there's a power button on the power light there as well. So a really good little device, quite inexpensive. Uh, I'll place links in the video description where you can buy this. I'll also include some alternatives as well because um, this is so good um, that they're struggling to uh, kind of supply and demand issues going on at the moment. Um, so there is another one that's just as good as this that I've tested. I'll link that down below as well. And um, obviously, yeah, if you've got any comments or questions about this, then uh, do feel free to ask them or leave comments or whatever in the video description down below. Don't forget as well that the competition prize for May, the giveaway prize for May, is this Google Home speaker. Um, so if you want to be in it, all you've got to do is be a subscriber to my channel um, and comment on all my videos. And then uh, by the end of May, I'll pick a winner out to win this. And you'll get sent this free of charge. So thanks very much for watching my video today. You take care and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.